Hi, this is Tony Lin. Uh, welcome to my video. Couple days ago, I present you the study from the United Kingdom, the famous school, Imperial College London, that shows you that Pfizer's efficacy against Omicron after 14 days is negative 18%. And today, uh, I'm going to show you another study from the Denmark. Uh, their result is even worse than the United Kingdom's uh, data. So uh, in this uh, Denmark uh, study, they found the Pfizer's uh, efficacy against the Omicron after three months is minus, is minus 76.5% and uh, they also found uh, the Moderna vaccines uh, after uh, three months against the Omicron is a minus 39.3% a I wonder how these uh, two uh, completely uh, different country uh, they get the uh, uh, same result for the vaccine's efficacy against the Omicron so in case you don't know why the efficacy is minus, uh, that means uh, that uh, uh, people who are fully vaccinated uh, with the Pfizer or Moderna, uh, their chance of uh, getting Omicron uh, COVID is higher than the unvaccinated people. So uh, without further ado, let me share you this uh, study from Denmark. So uh, first of all, uh, I want to let you know that uh, my, uh, this study from the Denmark is posted on this website and medrxiv.org. This website posted a lot of uh, preprint uh, studies uh, about the health sciences. And I'll include the link for you so you can uh, read these uh, entire study yourself and uh, this is indeed from the legit source now uh, let me show you the uh, study of uh, this study from the Denmark so title says uh, vaccine effectiveness against SARS-CoV-2 infection with the Omicron or data variant uh, following uh, two doses or booster uh, BNT, which is a uh, Pfizer, NRNA uh, 1273 is a uh, Moderna vaccination series, a Danish cohort st study. So under the authors, uh, you can see a lot of uh, uh, PhDs uh, with their names. So uh, this study is indeed from the expert, the leading ex health expert. So. If any uh, vaccine worshiper uh, think uh, they are smarter than these uh, PhD and they can find a mistake uh, from these uh, PhDs uh, study, uh, leave comment below. Uh, and uh, uh, because uh, uh, obviously you are smarter than these uh, PhD, and uh, hopefully uh, I can get the permission to uh, interview you uh, instead of uh, interview these uh, PhDs. Uh, of course, uh, go ahead to read, uh, read uh, these uh, study yourself, and I'm just uh, going to show you the result. So from this uh, table, uh, let me show you this table. Estimated vaccine effectiveness uh, for BNT162B2 uh, Pfizer and uh, NRNA1273 Moderna against the infection with the SARS-CoV-2 Omicron and the data variant during the November 20 to December 12, 2021, Denmark. Okay, so uh, the left colon is standing for the Pfizer, the right colon is for the Moderna. Uh, here I want to show you the values after 91 days. Uh, so here you can see the after 91 days, which is about three months. So vaccine efficacy for the Pfizer is minus, here is number, minus 76.5. And for the Moderna is minus 39.3%.
So again, I am laughing, but uh, I'm not kidding. If you uh, go ahead to check my link, you can see the study yourself. And actually, uh, this data is uh, the, the, the data from this uh, study is consistent uh, with the previous, uh, uh, previous update from the Pfizer. Uh, let me show you the Pfizer's update. So this is a Pfizer, uh, this, is, this, web, this is from the Pfizer's website. And I'll also include a link so you can uh, read this uh, update yourself. So Pfizer, uh, there is a uh, uh, Pfizer, uh, they uh, have an update uh, to the Omicron variant. Here is the update. Uh, the companies are continuing to advance the development of a variant specific vaccine for Omicron and expect to have it available by March in the event that an adaption is needed for further increased level of duration of protection. So, so the uh, study from the United Kingdom and Denmark, uh, their uh, study's uh, result is actually consistent with the Pfizer's their own update because uh, most likely the Pfizer also found uh, their vaccine's uh, efficacy against Omicron is very low. So that is why uh, they start to spend the money to develop uh, the variant specific vaccine for the Omicron. And uh, it is uh, expected to be available on March. So uh, the rest assured, uh, next year uh, you will have the uh, you will have the vaccine uh, for different variant. For example, uh, you will have a vaccine for the Delta variant. Uh, you will have a vaccine for the Omicron variant, and uh, you will also for have a booster for the Omicron variant, and you will also have booster uh, for the uh, Delta variant. And uh, uh, I believe the vaccine worshiper, uh, for vaccine worshiper, this is very good news because uh, uh, keep injecting these uh, uh, vaccines for different variant uh, over and over and keep uh, getting these uh, booster over and over. And soon uh, you will immune uh, to any diseases uh, in this world. Again, uh, if you think uh, my video is informative, please uh, hit the like button and share this video with more people, uh, especially the vaccine worshippers, because uh, this is obviously a uh, good news. They will start to get uh, more, uh, more and more vaccines. And uh, that is, uh, I think uh, they are really enjoy to do. Subscribe to my channel so you can always get the latest update on COVID-19 and vaccine. Have an amazing day and uh, remember to keep your vaccine efficacy against the virus uh, positive, not negative. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> otherwise uh, <laughs> you will uh, end up uh, uh, getting these uh, diseases uh, more easily than the unvaccinated. Have an amazing day. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.